the vlog yet today, but welcome back to another video. We have friends in town, so we <laughs> kind of just been chaotic. It's our friends from South Florida who had a baby earlier this year and we haven't seen them. Well, I haven't seen them since April when we went down to South Florida to take our engagement photos. And the baby was, I think like a month old, if that. So the baby is now six months. He's so big now. And they're in town for the weekend because all the guys got together and they're going to Gainesville, up to Gainesville, to watch the UCF UF game. Such a big game. They're on their way there now. And we went to Briar Patch this morning, walked around Park Ave a little bit, and now I have a second to like just relax a little bit. Um, and then all of us girls are going to dinner tonight in Baldwin Park, just a sushi place, I think. Yeah, I'm just so excited to have everyone in town. But all my stuff is in this bathroom because I usually get ready in our extra bathroom, but we have obviously people in town staying with us. So I have like all my stuff spread out in here. I just wanna pick it up a little bit because I was like quickly getting ready this morning with all my stuff. And I just got an Amazon package in. This is actually not from Amazon. I got a filter. I needed more coffee filters and I got pimple patches too because I don't get like actual pimples that often, but when I do, I always wish that I have stuff like this. So I got this because I have one on my cheek right here. And a lot of the times when I use like facial tools like this, not with my new face, it's like tools like this for lymphatic drainage. They sometimes make me break out in certain areas and right on my cheek, right where this goes across, I have a bit. And I'm always really good about using like alcohol prep pads for washing it off, but I think I might have used it like back to back though cleaning it but I don't know sometimes the lymphatic drainage kind of can especially when I take a couple days off it can kind of like bring up some stuff which is fine but in those moments I always wish that I had something like this because it's a little bit bigger than just like a tiny little blackhead it's like just a little bit bigger but I also ordered some stuff from iHerb I don't get any skincare off of Amazon because I heard it's like can sometimes not be like real so I got this Beauty of Jocelyn. I got the Revive Eye Serum. It's ginseng and retinol. I was using the Skin Better Science one, and I don't think that I ever really noticed a difference with my eye area, which kind of sucks because it is pricey. So I'm switching to something else and seeing if I notice a difference. I don't know, maybe I should have taken before and after photos. It's not like I'm like concerned with a lot of wrinkles around my eyes or anything, but I just feel like it didn't really do anything. It didn't help with dark circles, didn't do anything. So I'm trying this Revive Eye Serum with ginseng and retinol in it. And it's pretty big and it was so affordable. I think it was around $15 and this is a massive eye cream. You only need a little bit. This will last me like over six months for sure. So I got that and then also got some SPF. I used the Elta MD SPF and it is pretty pricey and I wanted to try something different and I heard that this was pretty good but it's so small. I feel like I'll run out of this in like a month and a half but it is pretty affordable so I guess that's fine. But I mean this is small too. Let me see 1.7. Okay so this will probably last me around the same amount of time. These are the same um, ounces and this was more than half the price off. So I'm excited to try this. I've heard really good things about this SPF. Nothing against this SPF. It's my favorite. I'm like really open to trying things that are probably just as good but more affordable. I will never stray from my Skin Better Science products though. Um, I am like a Skin Better Science stan. I love this stuff. So I use the Alto and the Even. And then I use this um, alternating at night. It's the Alpharet Overnight Cream. And then I did get samples of the Trio Moisturizer and the Maestro Active Balance Serum. And I'm kind of like wanting to try these out. It's just for a moisturizer, I don't really know. I love my like basic Vanny Cream. This is so cheap and it's massive. So sometimes with stuff like that, I'm like, a moisturizer, do I really need that? But they get you with these little samples and you try them and you're like, wait, I kind of love that. These are some new products. If you've tried these products, please let me know your thoughts. You notice the difference. I do see them 
on TikTok a lot, people are recommending these products, but I mean, you just never know. I'm gonna clean up a little bit in here, then just hang out and then we'll get ready for dinner. I don't even know what time it is. I don't know where my phone is. So we're gonna go get sushi for dinner, but I'm just gonna hang out, kind of pick up. I'll probably do like a deep clean tomorrow after everyone leaves. I think we're going to Costco tomorrow. So I'll probably vlog more tomorrow, but today just people in and out. It's already probably like 3, 3.30. And then we're probably going to dinner at like 5.36 an earlier dinner. We went out to dinner last night and it was just like later. How's the plan? Welcome back. Sorry for the long chatty intros that I feel like I always do, but welcome back. Okay, it's the next day. I'm switching out these pumpkins because I feel like they've gotten bad. I just went to Publix and did our grocery shopping for the week and I did clean the apartment before I left, which it feels so nice after having people in and out. I did my laundry yesterday, so I didn't have to worry about it. And I think we're gonna go to Costco, which I'm kind of dreading, but we need like paper goods, a lot of our ground meats and things. So we're gonna go, but there's a hurricane due to come through, like straight through Orlando later this week. So I know it's gonna be crazy, but I got new pumpkins from Publix because these just started to go bad. Usually these pumpkins from Trader Joe's last all the way through November and I bring them to, to my dad's house for Thanksgiving, but not this year. Before we go, I'm gonna quickly clean my makeup brushes because I need to. I have this Trader Joe's Honeycrisp Apple burning. It's almost done, actually. So I'm gonna quickly do my makeup brushes before we leave and go to Costco because they desperately need to be done. And I have some time. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick Costco haul. We just got home from Costco. We're about to head out the door and get some dinner. And then I need to come home and meal prep because I haven't done that yet today. Costco was completely cleared out of all paper products. So I'm gonna go next weekend and get paper towels and toilet paper. But this is the Costco haul. It's definitely on the healthier side. We got a lot of great healthy items and then a lot of staples that we usually get. So I'm gonna quickly run through it. Ground turkey, we got two four packs. Sausage, this used to come already vacuum sealed. Now we have to vacuum seal it and separate it out. We got two different types of veggies, which I'm excited about. This Mediterranean veggie, it has asparagus, artichoke, cauliflower, bell peppers, red onions, and yellow carrots. And it's made with avocado oil, which is good. Great ingredients. And I thought it was a great 
veggie side for dinners and then same with this fire roasted root vegetable side it has sweet potato parsnips orange carrots red onion and then it's made with extra virgin olive oil so another great ingredient side vegetable we got some ribeye steak that we're gonna vacuum seal just some cheddar cheese slices i love this breakfast sausage the last time we got it it's just so much in each pack so i think christian is gonna vacuum seal half of it for me we got this grass-fed beef sirloin this is great for salads it's also really good for sandwiches too just put some cheese on top maybe some red onion it's really yummy got two things of ground beef and then we got wagyu ground beef for smash burgers we got some chicken thighs got this for like snacking and then our favorite pizza of course the cauliflower crust pizza we put a lot of people on this and it's so good definitely our favorite and then some beef chops and then we got tide pods oxy clean or oxy powder scent beads and then some dishwasher pods and that's the haul so i'm gonna put all this away we probably won't vacuum seal today but this is the haul and then we're gonna go get some dinner and then i'm gonna come back and make cowboy caviar for meal prep